Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Flippin' Windows here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a great program to go ahead and cut down on your boot time and or go ahead and take command of your startup programs or services and either delay them, keep them in boot, or have them not boot at all. Um, all through a very, very wonderful program. And that program is right here called Saluda. Now, if you go to Google dot com and uh, type in saluto that would be spelled s-o-l-u-t-o it'll take you right there to it go ahead and click on saluto anti-frustration software go ahead and download the program um, also if you want you can go ahead and just take a quick uh, read on the features and services that it provides uh, but what I want to go ahead and mention is that it is basically a program that focuses on the boot process and it knocks down several minutes depending on what and how slow your computer is. Um, I have a solid state drive so um, it really doesn't affect it however I do have a lot of services. But uh, alright going into the program um, I opened it and there are three options that you got. You can either lighten the web browser you can see what the, the crashes are when your program crashes. Um, they go ahead and try to find solutions for it. Or you can chop your boot in half, I mean, or in uh, minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the boot process. Just highlight over it, and it'll open up. There's no clicking involved. Now, depending on the number of applications and services that you have booting in the background, uh, when you do start, um, that all um, interacts with your whole boot time. Um, my boot time does not take 56 minutes for the whole Windows 7 operating system to go ahead and boot. My operating system boots within like about, I want to say 17 seconds, um, if not um, on average 20 seconds or less. But 56 adds up into all these services booting up right here. Um, the system itself which is the Windows 7 operating system um, says that it boots up in 14 seconds added with the Windows Explorer um, well give or take you know it takes like seven seconds but you know when it's all ready to go it's like about a good 20 seconds but um, there are things that you should know um, in the green that you'll notice right here that you don't see in mine is there's some obvious programs that you should go ahead and keep out of boot and there's potentially removable these are for advanced users some are good some are bad um, for instance this fbagent.exe I had no idea what it was so I went ahead and I searched on Google found out that it was fast boot another um, boot program that helps boot my computer faster and I wanted to keep that in so um, if you have any programs or any uh, initialized programs that you see that are included in the boot you might want to search them before you go ahead and decide whether you want to go ahead and pause them delay them or keep them in the boot also based off of what um, the votes say um, most say keep it in boot others say delay it others say uh, pause it don't have it in boot at all but um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in boot. Also, some others, um, like TuneUp Utility Service, they don't have any vote and they don't have any option to go ahead and keep it in boot, pause, or delay it. So that's uh, somewhat of a problem. But uh, this is a beta version, so um, it's still in testing. And a lot of these don't have options to go ahead and uh, be removed either. Uh, now, when you go ahead and delay them or remove, uh, pause them, they'll all be put right here in a category. Um, the bright blue is uh, all paused. I have plenty on pause. I also have um, a few on delay, like uh, the Win Gadgets are delayed. Synaptics is delayed. Uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, the antivirus program is delayed. Uh, Asus Power Hybrid for the power options and the sticky notes is delayed and I have no idea what that is but I kept it in delayed because I wasn't sure exactly what it would do um, but like QuickTime, ProShow, Lightscribe, Anti-Malware, uh, Adobe Master Collection, 
NVIDIA Update, Acronis, all those can be put on pause. I don't use them every day. Pocket Cloud for Windows is like a remote desktop, so is TeamViewer. I don't use that every day, so there's no reason for them to be in boot or to be delayed, to be delayed until boot because I don't use them every day. Um, and the greatest thing about it, even though that they're on pause, um, you can either start them manually by opening up the program like this, just pressing it, or you can open them up all at once by right clicking at the taskbar where it says Saluto and pressing launch my paused apps. Also, if the delayed apps have not been uh, opening up as quickly as you'd like, which they don't really have a time on it, but they open up within like 30 seconds after the system has uh, opened up. Uh, also, there's a little uh, like page flap when your computer first starts, um, and it tells you all the programs that are um, booting up and how many seconds it takes. And when the final uh, number has came up, it'll give you a total of, "Hey, your boot uh, booted up in 56 seconds," like mine says. And then it'll go ahead and hide itself. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and. Um, either show that throughout the whole boot process or you can go ahead and show the boot changes results um, only once or you can have it to never show that way that whole little page icon never bothers you I like to keep it because I like to keep an eye on uh, my whole uh, boot um, like yeah so that's basically it it's a pretty good program now if you have uh, the operating system like Windows Vista. Vista has been known to go ahead and uh, boot slowly. It's not necessarily bis Vista. The common programs that um, slow your boot is ones that you have on your your system, like uh, Messenger Live. You got QuickTime. You have Adobe Reader. You have Yahoo Messenger. You have <laughs> Skype. Uh, you have some of the Microsoft Office programs. Let's say like. Outlook and you have OneNote that always boots up. Um, also, let's see the ones that I have. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe Driver Max. Uh, maybe some of your uh, video card drivers or some other stuff or your anti malware. Well, I would rec actually recommend it. Like these guys, 80% said that they would have it in boot. I don't because um, I'm not that too uh, vulnerable to viruses because I always have like total protection on anyways and I know exactly what sites I'm going to and how to avoid malware. Um, so that's not a problem with me. Also Lightscribe. You know Lightscribe uh, sometimes you don't need that every day and you don't need to have it in boot so what's the point? Keep it in pause. So uh, also go ahead and go back to the history the history shows you know all the changes that you've done um, I've had my boot all the way down to where boot has been uh, 20 seconds right so that says a lot and um, like uh, see one note has been uh, paused too there we go one note was paused because I didn't want it also, here's a good thing about um, some other stuff you need to know. To go ahead and make sure that every program is accounted for in Saluto and take a note of whether it should be in boot, open all your programs. Open OneNote so it can go ahead and take effect. Because usually when you open a program, they're automatically set to go ahead and start at the next Windows login or boot. So you want to open everything. Just do a whole test run. Open Outlook. I don't even think I've opened Outlook, but um, let's say if I were to go ahead and open Outlook, set it up. Um, when I go ahead and reboot, Zaludo is going to take effect, and it's going to see that this is set to go ahead and boot. Now, what I would do, I would go ahead and put it on pause because I don't usually use Outlook. I don't even have it set up, so I would actually have it on pause. That way it doesn't boot and uh, take up more time. Um, that goes the same way with uh, several new programs. I mean, the more programs you, you have, um, Saluto will go ahead and take record. 
Uh, what else is in uh, Saludo is um, this whole web browsing thing right here. Now, you have toolbars galore sometimes, and you don't know how to remove them, and uh, this program will. So, let's say, for instance, Chrome. I have plenty of toolbars, but they're actually called Google Gears or uh, plugins, so I, I need all these. And plus, these are all, um, what would you call it, little apps that Google Chrome has. Um, as far as add-ons, eBuddy Web Messenger, Weatherbug. But let's take a look at Internet Explorer. Uh, here are the add-ons, Office Document Cache Handler. I don't really need that, so I'm going to go ahead and disable it. Adobe PDF, I do need that. RoboForm, I do need that. XML DOM document, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it because I'm not sure what that would benefit. Uh, Firefox, um, here's some uh, toolbars. RoboForm, I do need that. Google Talk, I do need that. And uh, all these. iTunes Application Detector, I don't need that, so I can go ahead and disable that. Microsoft Office, I don't really need that. I don't really use uh, Firefox. Uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision, I don't need that, so I'll disable it. I don't usually look at uh, 3D. Uh, Yahoo Application State Plugin, I really don't know what that is. I'm not sure if that has to do with Yahoo Messenger, but I don't need that. Um, and I'm just taking random guesses. Uh, Photodex Presenter Plugin, I don't use Presenter, so I don't need that. Um, also, if you don't know what anything is, it's best that you go ahead and Google it. Search what it does. For instance, uh, Reillusion. I don't know what that is. I do uh, plan on going ahead and uh, Googling it, see what that does, and see what how that benefits my computer. So I have all these that are disabled. And the last thing that uh, Saludo has is this program called Hill Crashes. Programs that crash, you don't know how to go ahead and recover them. They keep on crashing. Um, and here are some programs right here. If I can get it. Okay. These say it's likely to crash soon. Razor Naga, it hasn't crashed. Skype has crashed. But only weird thing about it is it crashed when I logged into another account. When I logged into my main account, it didn't for some odd reason. Okay. Here's some other stuff. Um, they usually do diagnostics. Let's say, for instance, Adobe Reader. Um, solution in the works. It usually, um, they usually study it. Um, the process. Crash data is sent to our PC. Blah, blah, blah. And then lives. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And also, um, it, it actually, this program right here, it actually asks if you want to go ahead and help. You can actually put your input with the boot, too. Let's say, for instance, uh, Facebook, uh, I mean, uh, Fast Boot Agent. You can actually edit and give your own opinion on this a description, and usually they'll go ahead and uh, help you out. I think you have to put your email address, yeah, in order for them to go ahead and consider you. Um, I'll tell you what, this is going to be a very, very popular program, and it was already in the first beta that I'd seen it in, when uh, it only had the boot option. It didn't have these two, these two just barely came out. But um, this actually interface kind of looks like the new Windows 8 that will be coming out uh, in 2012. I really like it, so they're actually already in the wor works to uh, make it look more Windows 8-like. It's very smooth. You can see that. So that's it for Saludo. I really, really recommend this program if you guys want to go ahead and either cut down on your boot time, uh, go ahead and lighten up your web browser, and uh, figure out why your programs are crashing uh, for some odd reason. Um, I wouldn't really know myself. I'm counting on Saludo to go ahead and find that out for me, but that's about it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and take full advantage of this program called Saludo. Um, it's it's awesome. It really, I actually uh, purchased uh, some lunch for my friend because he's the one who told me about it. That's how happy I was. I was able to go ahead and get my computer booting a lot faster with this. So download it um, and uh, enjoy.